Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's latest Infosys DSC interview experience. This interview happened today only, that is on 7th June 2022. So, guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end and do not skip any part of this video because a lot of interviews for DSC profiles are going on are going on uh, in this week. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Guys, previously also I have made a lot of interview experiences videos for Infosys, whether it is of DSC profile, SC profile or PP profile. So all those interview experiences you can find under, under this playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit this playlist and watch all the videos that, that are beneficial for you. Okay, and guys, recently only we have started taking mock interviews for you people. Many of you requested that you are feeling nervous, you are not confident about the interview. So for this purpose only, we have started taking mock interviews for particular companies. All the list you can see here, I will give you the link in the description box. If you wish to give us mock interviews, you can simply visit this site and book your slot and we will be taking the mock interview on that slot. Okay, so like guys, let's start this video and before starting the video, Please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and all the links are given in the description box. Okay, so guys the date of the interview as I told you was 7th June 2022 that is today only. The branch of my friend was IT. The duration of the entire interview was 25 minutes and the role for which the interview was there it was DSC role of Infosys. Okay, so first question as you all know it is similar to all the uh, previous videos that is introduce yourself. By this the interviewer wants to know, know you. He wants to know that what you have done in past three or four years in your BTEC. What are your skills? What are your hobbies? What are your projects you have done? What are internships? What, what are extracurricular activities? All those things you can include about yourself in this particular question and it, it will be good. So I hope this, this question is clear to you. Okay. Next question was, are you aware of sorting algorithms? Name them. So yes, there are majorly five sorting algorithms there are many sorting algorithms but major algorithms are five only that is bubble sort insertion sort selection sort merge sort and quick sort while giving the technical interview of any company you must know all these sorting algorithms with their time complexities with their with their worst as well as average time complexity also and you must know the algorithm of each of these algorithm okay so i hope this particular question is also clear to you and you will be preparing for the same okay Next question was, what is bubble sort and write the code for this here. So first he asked that what were the different types of algorithms. Then when my friend told, he asked that what is bubble sort and write the code for the same. So in your case also, he can, uh, the interviewer can ask you to write the code for any of the sorting algorithms. So you must know every sorting algorithms with the code plus with the uh, worst time complexities and best time complexities. Okay. I hope this particular question is also, question is also clear to you. Next question is, again, it is a very commonly asked question, especially in, in Infosys, this question is very commonly getting asked. That is, swap two numbers without using the third variable. So for you, only I have written this code. You can simply take the screenshot for the same and go ahead. Okay, this is very commonly asked question in Infosys DSC role. So I hope I have made myself clear. Okay, next question is, what is the difference between C++ and Java? Guys, first of all, the major difference between C++ and Java is that Java is a platform independent language, whereas C++ is a platform dependent language. Uh, C++, uh, Java, it can run in any OS, hence it is portable. C++, as I have told you, is platform dependent, hence it is not portable. Both uh, Java is both compiled as well as interpreted language, whereas C++ is only compiled language. Now, Java does not support the virtual keyword whereas C++ supports the virtual keyword. Because of virtual keyword only, there is uh, multiple inheritance that is possible in C++, but it is not possible in Java. So I hope these differences are clear to you. Whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview, kindly give two to three points of difference between the two items. I hope this question is also clear to you. Okay. Now move to the next question that is, what is MySQL? We all know what is MySQL. My, MySQL is a database management system in which we do our coding for the databases. When we have to create database, we have to create tables, in, we have to add data in the table. So all we use is a MySQL that is database management system. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is explain delete command in SQL. So guys, delete command is used to delete specific rows from a table. We all know that in SQL, uh, in SQL, the data is stored in the form of tables. Now, in a table, a data is stored in the form of rows. So delete command is used to delete a particular row from a particular table. So what is the 
command for the uh, what is the uh, syntax for delete command you can see here delete from table where table name where employee id is equal to 2 so this is how a particular table where employee id is equal to 2 that will be deleted so i hope this question is also clear to you next question was what are the different data types in sql so there are various data types in sql some of them are integer varchar character date and there are many more so you can simply google it for the sake of your understanding that what are the different types of data types which are present in sql okay now on to the next question what is trigger because again trigger is a important concept in sql so therefore i will give you this link in the description box wherein you can visit it and you can understand triggers with the help of an example and guys before moving ahead i would again like you to know that if you are not feeling confident about your interviews if you are feeling nervous and if you are thinking that you are not prepared well for the interviews for all, all those cases we are taking mock interviews for different companies if you if your company that is for which you are giving the interview is present in any of this list then you can simply book your slot the slots are very limited we will take the mock interview with the questions which are in real hours in those companies so it will be really helpful for your preparation you can simply visit the link that i will give in the description box come here and book your slot and then we'll take your mock interview and slots are limited so book as soon as possible okay so now moving to the next question that is what is the difference between view and table so first of all a table is a physical entity that means data is actually stored in the table and some of the memory is allocated to the table but whereas view is a virtual entity which means data is not actually stored in the table just we are assuming that the data is stored in the table so first of all this is the major difference that data is actually stored in the table but data is not actually stored in the view now table it is used to store the data and view is it is used to extract the data from the table now uh, table it generates fast results see whenever we do select start from table so we get fetch we can fetch all the records from the table but when we do but in view what uh, when we try to extract the data through view what it care what it does view is a uh, view first generate generates the extracts the data from the table and then it shows us so it is one step more to table so therefore views are comparatively slow than table so i hope this particular difference is also clear to you again if a difference is asked from you in the exam just kindly give two to three difference point okay now to the next question that is explain the different types of joints so guys there are majorly four types of joints first one is inner joint then full joint then left joint and then right joint so generally they ask you to name the joints but again in the interview they can ask you to explain also so you can simply visit google or your uh, semester books wherein these joint definitions are given to you so i hope this question is also clear to you and guys if you have not liked the video till now please like it and do share it with your with your friends and do subscribe this channel also okay now moving to the last question of this interview that was any questions so the interviewer asked the candidate that do you have any questions for me so whenever this type of question is asked then do ask two to three questions from the interviewer it shows that you are genuinely interested in that company and and you will contribute towards the company so you can ask questions like on what technologies i will be working on on what projects i will be working on what will be my role in the organization how will be the training program as in sam we are the freshers so all these things you can ask from the interviewer and he will be happy to answer all these questions okay so guys this was all for this interview if you want more such videos kindly hit the like button for this video and comment down that yes you want these type of videos in future and do book your mock interview slot if you feel not feeling confident about your interviews okay so guys thank you for watching this video